Hey, oh kids, it's Princess Aki back with more Alice Mare. Please excuse me, I'm trying not to hiccup while I record. Anyway, uh, oh my god. <laughs> I am pretty sure we are nearing the end of this game, so. You, you have a pen. Woo, thank goodness. No, no, thank goodness. See, I can't figure out this problem. It's not like I have to solve it, but it'd be a load off, you know? So there's this type of cat. They're very strange cats. After 10 days, they get pregnant, and in 80 more, they have kittens. And in 10 more days, they're pregnant again. Oh, okay. At first, they have two kittens. One male, one female, equally divided. Next time, they have four, then six. And the kittens, after 40 days, become adults capable of pregnancy. And we have one of these strange cats right here. She's white and cute and fluffy. If I keep her for one, for one year, how many will I have in the end? That's the question. Could you tell me if you get it? I'll do my best to figure it out, too. Uh, well, considering you only have one, probably just one. Because it takes another cat to breed a cat. So there's... Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, I do. It is one. Wait a moment. Oh, you're right. What? Only one? Why? Ah, oh, that's right. She shouldn't get pregnant... She wouldn't get pregnant without a partner. Uh, I feel kind of let down. By myself, mostly. No, it's fine. Thank you. I feel much better now. Well, I'd like to reward you. How about this? Do you want this? It's absolutely fine. You can take it if you like. Yeah, red ribbon. Will you put it on? Should I put it on for you? Just kidding. I know that my oldest sister asked you for this. Quite the messenger boy, aren't we? Yeah, puzzle solving. I can't remember if she's in this room. You. Oh, wonderful. You brought one. Thanks. I always lose my ribbons right away. Here's the key as promised. Cool. Passage key. I have nothing else for you. This. You want it? It's not very useful for notes. My pen won't write on it. Notebook scrap. I have to hiccup so bad. Bugs flew all around me. I walked along the gra ground. A chair talked. I was surprised. A cat saw it and laughed like a fool. Everything got strange once I opened that door. But I don't know which one is strange. Is it me, or is it this world? Oh, I just don't know. I don't know anything. I see now. So I did, I didn't look up the endings and like what all in, in it entails, but I know how many endings there are and what ending I cannot get. And so, um, I think I'm going to be I'm going to go for one specific ending and then I want to check out another ending. I only know like the specifics on how to get it, but that's about it. So Oh, is it a little teacher? It's little teacher. Who? No, you don't need to say it because neither do I. Are you lost? I see. Well, so am I. I've searched all over this place, but I can't find it. Do you mind if I come with you? All right, thanks. Maybe with someone else, I might find something different. We need to borrow the passage key again. Let's go to, to let's go to the director. Me? Right. Well, call me what you like. I hate my name. Anyway, nice to meet you. I, you. All right. Nice to meet you. Hate your name, boy. You are boy now. No other name. Just boy. Just boy. It's locked. Most of the doors and passages here have locks. Maybe if we ask the director, we can borrow the key? The director's room is over to the right. My key is only for going outside, and it's my world key, so we can't use it. He knows an awful lot. A lot more than I do. Sup, door. A calendar. What day of the week were you born? You don't know? Well then, tell me the date. Sunday, the Sabbath day. Excellent. Me? I was born Wednesday. Not many people believe in this sort of thing, but I do. <laughs> Maybe it runs in the family, given my mom and dad. You have some history. Mother Goose! Monday's child is a fair of face. Monday's child is a fair of face. Tuesday's child is full of grace. Wednesday's child is full of woe. Aww. Thursday's child is, has far to go. Friday's child is loving and giving. Saturday's child works hard for a living. And the child that is born on the Sabbath day is bonnie and blith and good and gay. Which means happy, by the way. Which I was uh, born on a Sunday, I believe. 
which is pretty cool. Are you interested in that kind of thing? It's impossible for anyone to know a person unless you are them. The cat told me that. But when someone beside y besides you first looks at you, a new self is born, isn't it? It's tricky. I can't fully understand it, but I'm not bothered by that. People have bad ha a bad habit of trying to know things they shouldn't. That's very, very true. Variety of books. Lots of books. Variety. Okay, this is all going to be the same. Whatever. I don't care. Sup, yo? Good day. Mr. Director, um, I want to go into the middle room. Could I borrow the key? Hmm? Didn't you borrow it earlier? I mean, it's fine, but make sure to return it. Ah. But only if you can solve my riddle. If there were three of me, I'd be able to eat three apples in three minutes. If there were a hundred apples and a hundred of me, how many minutes would it take to eat them all? Solve that, and I'll give you the key, but you can only get you only get three shots. Mr. Director? Only three, no more, no less. Tell me once you have it. Um, he got weird all of a sudden. I know why, though. Alright, think it over carefully. I am not the one being asked. You think about it. Uh... Um... So if there are three of him... What? If there were three of me, I'd be able to eat three apples in three minutes. Okay. So three, three, three. If there were a hundred apples and a hundred of me, how many minutes would it take to eat them all? Three... He's really emphasizing on the whole three thing, and the three thing has been like a huge thing this his entire game, so I'm gonna go with three. Yeah! Correct! I did it. Alright, check the far right bookshelf. You have to listen to what the heart says. If you don't, your heart will attack you. That's lovely. I wouldn't be okay with that. A small piece of paper stuck inside. Take it out. Question two. It took three of me three of me three minutes to eat three apples. Now what's the minimum number of me it takes to eat a hundred apples in a hundred minutes? Pesky heart, we don't have time for this. I'll leave this to you. Thanks! Looking closer, there's another paper. No book scrap. The ant told me the frog is bad. The frog told me the cat is bad. The cat told me no, the rabbit is the worst of them all. So I blanked them. Well then. Uh, fucking Christ. Question two. It took three of me three minutes to eat three apples. Okay, so three, three, three. What's the minimum number of me it takes to eat a hundred apples in a hundred minutes? Uh, um, gonna do the math real quick for that. Okay, so a hundred. That doesn't sound right, but that's that, that's what I came up with. Four? I don't know! Fuck it. Go. Uh, I don't even... Uh, the keys, yes, here you are. Please stop, because you're making me suffer. Uh, I don't know. These puzzles, like, they're hard. They take... I don't I don't even know. <laughs> to be honest, good, we got it. That surprised me. No, it's nothing. Like it's ridiculously hard to figure out puzzles. You go open all those other people's locks, then you go on opening things again. It's weird. Okay, yeah. But like uh, there are so many hardships in trying to figure out these puzzles just because like I be careful it's cracked. Sorry, my hand is cold, isn't it? Be sure it, I'm sure it's because I don't know warmth. You're so kind. Now, I realize only now, much too late, your hands are warm. But 
It takes me so long to figure out these fucking riddles, and like, I sit there and I'm just like, maybe I have it, but then like, immediately start second guessing myself, and it's just like, but, but I did the right stuff, maybe? Okay, you know what? Oh! That person looks dead. Cold. Him? Yeah, he was a great guy, really. I was telling him I'd go visit him tomorrow, but it seems like he was troubled. Okay. He was dead when I got here. Eh, I'm so scared. Who found him first? Um, the person next to me, but he hasn't said a word. This seems complicated. I don't even care about that guy. I'm more concerned with not being able to play outside until this is settled. That's creepy. Calm down, calm down. Sup, yo? This person seems to know something. Excuse me, could we talk? Ah. Uh, he seems to be deaf. Do you know sign language? I do not. I see. That's a problem. How else can we talk to some with someone who's deaf? We can write on a piece of paper. Lots of hard words and charts. These are mine. It's probably too much for you still. I did all kinds of research a long time ago, that is. I was praised for it and even won awards. I don't do that anymore. No, it's not really because I got tired of it. And well, I guess it's also true. I'm not good being around lots of people. But really, white couldn't be any less appropriate for me. Feather pen. I know. But paper. You don't know this? It's a map of the world. The world is so big. Plus, in different places, they eat different things and speak differently. If you're interested too, maybe I could take you around the world. Uh. Fucking Christ. Let's see. Well, the only other- fuck. The only other pen was over here. Right? Pretty sure. There's a pen over here. Oh, apparently not. God damn it! <laughs> Maybe we won't get to the end because I get lost. A lot. But, uh, motherfuck. But, you, you need writing utensils for things to communicate to people who can't hear. Because I don't know sign language. God damn it! Maybe we have to talk to him again. Like, I know what I need, but he... Uh, son of a bitch. Go away, weird little... I don't even know what you are. We don't want to play Tetris. He's a really good writer. He's still so small. How can he write so much? He must have started it earlier. Fuck! You, paper? I see. With a paper and pen, I guess we can write things to each other. Oh, what is it? A pen? Sure, I don't need it anymore. I don't have any paper. One of my sisters might. Oh, what to do? Let's get the paper from somewhere else. Oh, okay. I have to talk to people for shit. How about you? Paper? Yes, certainly. I just have this writing paper. Oh my, it's you. I'm looking forward to your book being completed, you know? This again. Oh, well, thank you very much. Sigh. But you should be proud of your accomplishments. That's far more, <laughs> That's far more than I've done in my life. Are you... Ah... Oh. Feel so accomplished. Okay, now let's go write this message to this dude. What's up? Hold on. Do you know anything about what's going on? This isn't the language they speak here. I'll be. F it'll. I'll be fine. You only know one language, right? Yes, I haven't taught you. It's too soon for you children to do that kind of study. I'll give it a shot. Give me some time. So much time. All right, here we go. There was a detective who talked to each person here. But suddenly the lights went out and his throat was slit. Seems he had poor hearing. Before he died, there were five people in the room, the same ones here now. We call, we'll call we call them A, B, C, D, and E. They were asked what they were doing before the murder. A. I was doing some reading here when it suddenly went dark and I dozed off. I didn't know he was dead until I woke. He was murdered? Really? He wasn't a bad guy, though. To stab him with a knife like that. Ah, I want to play outside. I was just here for some tools. I don't know anything about him. Calm down. I can't believe he was dragged here. These footprints are big, so it must have been a man. 
Yeah, I was here, but I left right away. He wasn't here, even here then. I know the answer, but you have to answer it. It has to be someone else who interferes with the heart. There are two culprits. Good luck. Fuck. You are dick. You seem a little hesitant, sir. And you seem entirely too calm. Okay. So I think it's B and D. Because B is eh. And D is way too calm. Right. I explained it, and he seemed to understand. He, it, would, it should be fine now. Killing a person. What an awful thing to do. Let's go. To the door? Not yet. Let me save first. I would like to save before I make terrible decisions. Yes. I'm going in. Sup? I fuck. Get through the. Sup, bed? Nothing? Cool. It's chill. Do whatever. There's a novel here. A strange book, isn't it? But lots of people have read it. I wrote it, but the name's the name is my friend's. Yes, I hate it. I know I've told you that again and again. The name itself is great. My teacher gave it to me. But I hate myself so much for not living up to the name. Ah, don't be so hard on yourself. Be be a good person. Blotted out and unreadable. This is where we part. This is my world. This door leads to my present self's world. It's very tiny and still restricted. It's open. Why did it come to this? You're smart, so perhaps you know. If you know the answer, tell me, Alan. I don't know. I don't know any of the answers. I is just confused. There's a diary. Read. Why not? I bought a house. Well, it was a... F well, but it was formerly a facility. It's much too big for me. I can see myself getting lost easily. I'm indebted to Cliff once again. I should really thank him later. Today I met a girl. A few days ago, she was found near a house that burned down, and it seems to be the daughter. She insists there's someone other than her. She seems to have another personality, so I gave her double the furniture and such. I wasn't sure what to do, but at any rate, I found re a research subject this way. She's now in my care. Research subject! No symptoms at the moment. I met a second girl. I received a letter three days ago that had all the particulars. Perhaps because of what she's been through, she's much less cheery. She's reluctant to talk to me. She enjoyed talking with the other girl, albeit not for very long. It may be slow, but I'll try to get her talking with me. No symptoms at the moment. The third, I met a boy. I was surprised, but given his mother, I decided to take him in. He talks plenty, but he's illogical. He was a little awkward with the two girls, but they're playing together They're playing together a few days later. Today he kept putting frogs on my head. He's a bit too mischievous. No symptoms at the moment. I met the fourth girl. Fourth, a girl. She walked from a town in the woods. I talked with her, and she told me about a new mysterious illness. Evidently it wiped out her town. Did she have a resistance to it? I'm a little interested, but it's unrelated. She doesn't want to talk about it much. It's hard to talk with her. She doesn't talk with the others, just playing the pian playing piano in her room. No symptoms at the moment. All the children have the potential to break out, but still no symptoms. But are there even symptoms? How did it go back then? I'm getting a headache. I'll stop for now. A few pages are ripped out. I met a fifth child. He was outside when the incident happened. They say the shock caused memory loss. Oh, I'm learning about me, finally! At a glance, I was surprised. It's just a hunch, but he must be on the verge. I'll watch him very carefully. Two seasons have passed since then. What have I been doing? I feel like my chest is burning. I see the scene in, the, in my mind again. This must mean, yes, very soon. It must be over soon. My head hurts. I'm sorry, Fiona. There's a scrap of paper in the back. Notebook scrap! When I came to, it was my usual world. She's still sleeping today. I blanked lots of people, but I was never blanked. Why is that? Uh, should I have been blanked more? But there's no bad people left. There's only good people around me. The cat says that only bad people can blank. Which is right. I don't know. I don't know a thing. I guess... I just keep trying to blank people so that I can so I can be blanked. I don't think the blank means kill anymore. To be honest. <laughs> so onward we go. 
Hello? Hi, teacher! Alan! If you're here then, no, the cat can't be trusted. You really are proficient at breaking promises. It's quite troubling. That key. It looks sharp. Give that to teacher, would you? Right away. Now! Uh, um... Um... I don't know, teacher. I... Mm, but... Uh... No. Very well. This might hurt a little! I'm sorry! Oh no! I did the wrong option! Oh! Oh! Teacher! <sighs> it doesn't even hurt. Now it can end. This awful dream. Yes, it's the end. Will you hear my story? This isn't my first time in the world. I've been here before. Nightmare Syndrome. And as an avid reader, I'm sure you've heard it of it at least once. It's a disease that keeps one from waking and takes their soul. The cause is said to be unknown, but I believe it emerges in children whose hearts are in darkness. Have you noticed? I took and hurt children with nowhere to go, help them, and let them live with me. But secretly I observed and studied them as children who might acquire the sickness. I must have upset you. I'm sorry. I want to destroy this world and these dreams, whatever it takes. I lost someone important to me, right before my eyes in this world. Ever since then, I've thought of nothing else. It was my selfishness. So when you arrived, I was very surprised. Maybe because you remind me of myself back then. If I made you unhappy, I thought you'd acquire it. But I couldn't do that. Soon, my door opened. I should have come alone. The rest of you were taken in as well, and the entrance grew bigger as a result. I've tried various things, but nothing worked. Alan, though you opened the door, you did nothing wrong. It's my fault. There, 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 there. It's okay. This is my dream. My world. I hid too much of my weakness. Before I knew it, I was drowning in more than I could manage. So I have to end it. For her as well. I'm not very smart. She often told me so. I researched long, but I guess it was all for naught. Take this. I obtained a locket. I couldn't give you what you wanted most, because I was never given it. I don't know what it's like. I'm sorry. If you have nothing, then you should make something. You have wonderful friends all around you. Just take it slow. You're smart, Alan, so you'll be fine. Right. I'm an adult, allegedly, so they won't eat me. I'll figure something out. There's a number of... There's a number for a man named Cliff on my desk. Say my name, and he'll come help you. He's my one and only friend. He's very kind. You'll be fine. Oh! Teacher! Please forget about me. Teacher, no! Then no one will have to come here again. Oh! Oh! But... Good night, Alan. Oh, no! Teacher! Oh, no! Why wasn't I blank? So, I'm pretty sure the blank word is love. <laughs> so why wasn't I loved? I thought I could love then, but I simply wasn't able to do it. Because I didn't know how to love. What will I do now? I've lost everything. I have nothing. Oh, I'm so sleepy. Love me. Someone please love me. Oh my god. As you can tell, this episode's gonna be a little long, but... Oh my fucking Christ. Fuck. Ah! Uh, that's upsetting. Alright. <sighs> okay, we're supposed to go find a number on teacher's desk. It's the boy from earlier and a girl who resembles him and this note. I'm in beverage, but I'm but not in rank. I am separate, but not in part. I am seven, but not in scene. I'm I'm in drizzle, but not in ran. I'm in car, but not in automobile. 
Ah, uh, yeah, I don't know either, buddy. This is the number for the man named Cliff. Basic controls. I already know that. Alright, so there are two endings that I want to try for. And I don't know if I should call a phone. Make a call. Yes, hello? Huh, it's not often you're the one calling me. Is that Alan I hear? Ah, I see. Get your things packed. I'd appreciate it if you could do his too. I'll just be a little bit. In the meantime, please. Right, it's okay. Just give me a little time. Bye. Okay, so I'm gonna save. And essentially, I think what you do is you go into the room. Where's Joshua? Joshua! Sup, yo? Items. No? I'm pretty sure... It won't open. Ah! Filled with lots of your clothes. Okay. So, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. But, uh, it's obviously the end, so... Uh, fuck. Let's go up here. Read. Victims of nightmare syndrome, a strange illness that renders one unable to wake, continue to rise. The illness mainly strikes children. The name comes from the fact that patients appear to be suffering in a nightmare. Many researchers have offered explanations with still no concrete info, info or treatment, as their caretakers continue to cry bitterly meanwhile. Okay. Uh, God damn it. I want to see if I can find how to... Yeah, none of this is what I need. Can I go in that other room now? Locked. Nope, I can't. Never mind. <laughs> okay, so obviously I can't do anything. Fine. Okay, so teacher. No response. Ah, oh, leave him be. I was hoping this wasn't going to be as long or like way too long, but I guess. I guess it's going to be, because until I figure out how to end this, it's going to be a while. Nobody's talking. Why is nobody talking? I don't understand. Okay, I guess I can't get what I want, so... Yeah, nobody's talking at all. Okay, that's unnerving. Can I leave? No? What about... Okay. What about this other room? It's locked! Okay, great. Great! Fuck. Okay, yeah, I read that. But I don't know what that means, so... Fuck. Seriously, though, like, what am I supposed to do? Where's this go? It's locked. Okay, fine. Damn it! Seriously, though, like, what? No, you won't answer... You won't... Why are all of you not talking? This is really unnerving. Seriously, though. Like, what? I love how you can check the fucking backs of these. Okay, so nothing here. I don't understand. Hold on. I need to look this up real fast. This is unfortunate. Oh, I can't now. Damn. 
So, the only ending I can get now is this one. Which is unfortunate, because I wanted to see the other ones, but we're going to look at his face. Teacher? Good night, teacher. It's unfortunate. I wanted to see the other ones, but I can't. Alright, so that was Alice Mare. Um, I wanted to go and look at the other ones just because, um, I was really interested to see Joshua's ending. I want, I really did want to see his. And then I wanted to see, um, the Cheshire Cat ending. But, I was, there was a hole next to the door and I was supposed to go through that for it. And I didn't know that until I looked it up just now. So that's kind of unfortunate. But, um. This will be the end of this series, which I'm really sad to see it go, but I really enjoyed it, and obviously because I kept recording and recording and recording. But, um, I am not going to be uploading any other endings for this game. Um, I will go and look f at the endings myself, like, go back and maybe replay and go find different endings to see what they look like and what the story is. But, uh, other than that, I think this might be actually a really good one to end it on just because it's kind of clear and concise and it's really, really sad because teacher is gone, um, and won't wake up ever again. But, um, I will put the link down in the description again so that you guys can go play Alice Mare so that you guys can see the endings for yourself and enjoy playing this game. I enjoyed it despite my frustrations. So, um, yeah. Oh God. I'm gonna miss this game. This has definitely been up there with Eve when I played it, and it, like it's definitely not as horror uh, aspect. It's definitely not as much as that, but it's definitely really cool in the story and the presentation and how exactly it's supposed to go about, and you're supposed to find the story and everything. But uh, this was really cool. I really enjoyed it. I liked the characters. I liked the different stories and the different backgrounds. Just God. It was a lot sadder than I thought it was going to be. And I did kind of... I almost choked up a little bit there for a second. But... Mm, fuck. So. Oh. Oh. Come on. Alright. So. Alright. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this series. I freaking loved it. But, um, otherwise I'm going to probably pick back up on some other episodes that I've, uh, left hanging for a while. Or I might pick up another RPG horror because I have a huge list. And I'm actually really excited to jump in on that too. So, um, I'm going to definitely pick back up on my other episodes and also throw in another game in there. So that you guys aren't up in the air about, Alan, what's going on? <laughs> so, um... Anyway, so, again, I'll leave a link in the description. I hope you guys enjoyed this game. Uh, I hope you go try it out for yourselves and go see what the other endings are. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I know it was really long and I apologize for that, but I was trying to get it done so that I didn't have a really short episode afterwards. So, uh, anyway, please, reg please guys remember that cheering is caring and I will see you guys on the next episode. I'm a bounce. See ya!